just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? We did it. Ah, oh, shit. very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Max you around? Always. You okay? Oh, God. I can... I can feel... I can feel it. Also, who the hell reads texts in landscape mode? Is that a thing people do? This text would have to be tiny or that phone has to be huge. Necromantic. Hey Mad Max, let's let's bust shit up. Holy shit. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. She is such a photo nerd. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Is she really examining a printer? That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Souls. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. I mean, I guess. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. How do I sprint? Huh, this might make a cool shot. If you say so. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here. That was a... a very ominous thing to say. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. I do appreciate the art style. Fine, let's get this over with. Hi. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture.
I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. I don't know what he just said, but I'm sure it was important. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Why is that shit necessary? This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses? And look at that vintage rangefinder! What? So vintage. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. I look at this one. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. I can read it. Mark Jefferson's More Beauty. Film versus Digital. Who will win? Ward 11. Let's get the hell out of here. How do I switch weapons? I don't think I saw this one. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Are you an everyday hero? Find out, enter to win. Everyday Heroes Photo Contest. Submit an image that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. Deadline. October 9th, 2013. The winner will fly to San Francisco and represent their school in the National Everyday Heroes competition at the Zeitgeist Gallery on October 11th, 2013. You may submit one image on approved paper for consideration. For those 18 and under, a parent permission form must be included with the image. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always to the cute. real world. Cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special <laughs> picture. <laughs> because Max wants everybody to see She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera.
no! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane, can I actually Arvis? reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally hot. Sure the I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't Hi, freak yeah, out. Arvis. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images. When of I took my selfie, face. Jefferson you asked me a question. If he does again, I I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um... I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Louis class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Like I remember what. No, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. So she's a cheater. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Oh, great. Hey. Victoria, you still have to do your own. Even if Stop wasting time. Go. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Stop wasting time. Go. No, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. God damn it. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. 
John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Let's... Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I spent. It's time to be an everyday hero. What just happened? It's time to be an everyday hero. Do this again. I... Mm. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't eat... Let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, God yeah, damn it. I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm... Sure, you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this again. I see you, Max Caulfield. Shut up. Let one of photography's. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Now can I... Later, nerds. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel! Don't even tease. You remember that it's I, I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. So, I looked at myself in the mirror. I washed my face. Sure. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that ever thing down. Tell me what to do. I need I'm a so hammer to break it open. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! God damn it. You're trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! <laughs> <laughs> 